the Federal Aviation Administration, they typically have a, a very long um, history, actually, of, of being of being airing on the on the very safe side of everything. For instance, I can't take NyQuil and go fly tomorrow. So what's interesting is the FDA came out on December 10th with the emergency use authorization for these for these uh, vaccines. And by December 12th, the FAA doing zero long-term safety studies on their own. So there's many stories out there, pilots like Cody Flint, who, who passed out while he was flying, doesn't remember landing his aircraft. Um, Captain Greg Pearson, who went into atrial fibrillation within hours of his first Pfizer shot. Very few doctors or medical professionals will actually come out and say this is vaccine related. So no, the FAA is not admitting it because when they do, they're admitting civil and criminal liability. The unions who mandated the jab, they're certainly not going to admit it. The unions who were completely in bed with the companies and still are, they're not going to admit it. And then you have the pilot who's having the issue who is afraid to come forward because they're going to lose their career if they do, right? They'll they'll be placed on long-term disability, which is a fraction of what they were earning as a pilot. So now you have a lot of people that that are afraid to come forward here. And and we don't believe there's really a way forward, probably outside of litigation. Like the FAA needs to be forced to do the right thing. And I can tell you, there are people within, um, within the agency that are are, are very much in agreement with, with what U.S. Freedom Flyers has been saying, and those people are helping us on the inside. 